Mass pro-democracy protesters take to the streets of Hong Kong to march against China's recent face mask ban. Lucy Fielder has more on those demonstrations. They're on the streets in face masks just hours after a Chinese ban on them that took effect on Saturday. After a night of chaos in which police shot a teenage boy and pro-democracy protesters torched businesses and metro stations which stayed shut Saturday morning. Friday's protests erupted hours after embattled leader Carrie Lam invoked a colonial era emergency law for the first time in more than half a century. On Saturday, she used the overnight, quote, extreme violence to justify that step. She says the radical behavior of rioters took Hong Kong through a very dark night. But many protesters were undeterred by the mask ban and marched through this central district. Others took to a Hong Kong shopping mall to read out a declaration of a provisional government, calling for the suspension of the chief executive and the cabinet. The UN human rights chief slammed the face mask ban and called for an investigation after the past week saw the worst outbreak of violence so far. Businesses too are suffering in an economy on the edge of recession. And the shutdown of metro stations, many shopping malls and supermarkets is a new blow. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.